A chashitsu cha tea room in Japanese tradition is an architectural space designed to be used for tea ceremony gatherings. The architectural style that developed for chashitsu is referred to as the sukiya style, and the term sukiya may be used as a synonym for chashitsu. Related Japanese terms are chaseki, cha shi, broadly meaning place for tea and implying any sort of space where people are seated to participate in tea ceremony, and shibana, tea flowers, the style of flower arrangement associated with the tea ceremony. Typical features of chashitsu are shoji windows and sliding doors made of wooden lattice covered in a translucent Japanese paper, tatami mat floors, a tokonoma alcove, and simple, subdued colors and style. The ideal floor size of a chashitsu is 4.5 tatami mats. Definition In Japanese, freestanding structures specifically designed for exclusive tea ceremony use, as well as individual rooms intended for tea ceremony, are both referred to as chashitsu. The term may be used to indicate the tea room itself where the guests are received, or that room and its attached facilities, even extending to the roji garden path leading to it. In English, a distinction is often made between freestanding structures for tea, referred to as tea houses, and rooms used for tea ceremony incorporated within other structures. Tea houses are usually small, simple wooden buildings. They are located in the gardens or grounds of private homes. Other common sites are the grounds of temples, museums, and parks. The smallest tea house will have two rooms, the main room where the host and guests gather and tea is served, and a mizuya, where the host prepares the sweets and equipment. The entire structure may have a total floor area of only three tatami mats. Very large tea houses may have several tea rooms of different sizes, a large, well-equipped mizuya resembling a modern kitchen, a large waiting room for guests, a welcoming area where guests are greeted and can remove and store their shoes, separate toilets for men and women, a changing room, a storage room, and possibly several anterooms as well as a garden with a roji path, an outdoor waiting area for guests and one or more privies. Tea rooms are purpose-built spaces for holding tea gatherings. They may be located within larger tea houses, or within private homes or other structures not intended for tea ceremony. A tea room may have a floor area as small as 1.75 tatami mats one full tatami mat for the guests plus a tatami mat called a dame, time you approximately three quarters the length of a full tatami mat, for the portable brazier furo or sunken hearth ro to be situated and the host to sit and prepare the tea, or as large as 10 tatami mats or more, 4.5 mats is generally considered the ideal in modern tea rooms. A tea room will usually contain a tokonoma and a sunken hearth for preparing tea in the winter. History The term chashitsu came into use after the start of the Edo period In earlier times, various terms were used for spaces used for tea ceremony, such as chanoyu zashiki, Cha Tang Zuo sitting room for Chanoyu, Sukiya place for poetically inclined aesthetic pursuits, Furiyu, Feng Lu such as Chanoyu, and Kakoi, Tong lit, partitioned off space, according to Japanese historian Moriya Takeshi in his article, The Mountain Dwelling Within the City. The ideal of Wabi style tea ceremony Wabi Cha had its roots in the urban society of the Muromachi period 1336 to 1573 and took form in the tea houses that townspeople built at their residences and which affected the appearance of thatched huts in mountain villages. Before this, tea ceremony was generally enjoyed in rooms built in the Shoin Zakari architectural style, a style frequently employed in tea rooms built today. Tea houses first appeared in the Sengoku period, mid 15th century to early 17th century, a time in which the central government had almost no practical power, the country was in chaos, and wars and uprisings were commonplace. Seeking to reclaim Japan, samurai were busy acquiring and defending territories, promoting trade and overseeing the output of farms, mills and mines as de facto rulers, and many of the poor were eager to seek the salvation of the afterlife as taught by Buddhism. Tea houses were built mostly by Zen monks or by daimyos, samurai, and merchants who practiced tea ceremony. They sought simplicity and tranquility, central tenets of Zen philosophy. 
The acknowledgement of simplicity and plainness, which is a central motivation of the tea house, continued to remain as a distinct Japanese tradition in the later periods. The Golden Tea Room was a portable gilded chashitsu constructed during the 16th century Azuki Mamoyama period for the Japanese regent Lord Tayatomi Hideyoshi's tea ceremonies. The original room is lost, but a number of reconstructions have been made. The Golden Tea Room was constructed to impress guests with the might and power of the regent. This was in contrast to the rustic aesthetics codified under his tea master Sen no Rikyu, although it is speculated that Rikyu might have helped in the design. The room's opulence was highly unusual and may have also been against Wabi Sabi norms. At the same time, the simplicity of the overall design with its clean lines could be seen as within the canon. The extent of tea master Rikyu's involvement in the design of the room is not known, however he was in attendance on a number of occasions when tea was being served to guests in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Architecture The ideal freestanding tea house is surrounded by a small garden having a path leading to the tea room. This garden is called roji lute, dewy ground. Along the path is a waiting bench for guests and a privy. There is a stone water basin near the tea house, where the guests rinse their hands and mouths before entering the tea room through a small, square door called Nijiraguchi, or crawling in entrance, which requires bending low to pass through and symbolically separates the small, simple, quiet inside from the crowded, overwhelming outside world. The Nijiraguchi leads directly into the tea room. The tea room has a low ceiling and no furniture, the guests and host sit Siza style on the floor. All materials used are intentionally simple and rustic. Besides the guests' entrance, there may be several more entrances, at minimum there is an entrance for the host known as the Sadoguchi, which allows access to the Mizuya. Windows are generally small and covered with Shoji, which allows natural light to filter in. The windows are not intended to provide a view to the outside, which would detract from the participants' concentration. There is a sunken hearth located in the tatami adjacent to the host's tatami, for use in the cold months. This hearth is covered with a plain tatami and is not visible in the warm months, when a portable brazier is used instead. There will be a tokonoma scroll alcove holding a scroll of calligraphy or brush painting, and perhaps a small, simple, flower arrangement called a shibana, cha wa but no other decoration. Shishitsu are broadly classified according to whether they have a floor area larger or smaller than 4.5 tatami, a differentiation which affects the style of ceremony that can be conducted, the specific type of equipment and decoration that can be used, the placement of various architectural features in the hearth, and the number of guests that can be accommodated. Shishitsu which are larger than 4.5 mats are called haroma literally, big room, while those that are smaller are called koma literally, small room. Haroma often are shown style rooms, and for the most part are not limited to use for chanoyu. Other factors that affect the tea room are architectural constraints such as the location of windows, entrances, the sunken hearth and the tokonoma, particularly when the tea room is not located within a purpose-built structure. Not all tea rooms can be made to conform to the ideal seen in the image. <laughs> Typical names. It is usual for chishitsu to be given a name after their owners or benefactors. Names usually include the character for hut, hall, or arbor, and reflect the spirit of rustic simplicity of the tea ceremony and the teachings of Zen Buddhism. Characteristic names include Mugayan, Wu Wai and Introvert Hut, Mokurayan, Molei and Silent Thunder Hut. Tokyudu, Dong Chu Tang East Seeking Hall. Note, the Dong Chu Tang at Jinkaku Ji is pronounced Togu Du, and is a private Buddhist hall, not a Chishitsu. Shoen, Song and Pine Hut. Ichimokuen, Yimu and One Tree Hut. Rokusoen, Lu Chuang and Six Window Hut. Boji Te, Wang Lu Ting Forgotten Path Arbor. Topic. Famous Chishitsu Taiyan, Dai, the only extant chishitsu designed by Sen no Rikyu, built in 1582 representing his concept of Wabi Cha. Located at Myoki and Temple in Yamazaki, Kyoto. 
designated a national treasure. Joan Rua now located in Ainayama in Aichi, this tea house was built in Kyoto in 1618 by Yurakusai, the younger brother of Oda Nobunaga, and was moved to its present location in 1972. It was designated a national treasure in 1951. Kanichian, Jin Rian today hut. The original tea room built by Sen Soten at what later became known as the Urasenk Kanichian estate. The floor space is composed of but one full tatami, a three-quarters size dame tatami, and a wooden board at the head of the dame tatami. There is no recessed tokonoma. Fushinen, Bushenen Doubting Hut. The tea room run by Sen no Rikyu. It was moved by his son Sen Shoen to its current location. It is part of the Amitasenk estate. Zanjetsu Te, Kanyu Ting Morning Moon Arbor. A tea house belonging to the Amitasenk school in Kyoto. Glass Tea House, Guang and Light Hut designed by Toujin Yoshioka. See also Ochaya, a geisha entertainment. Tea House List of tea houses Tea Culture Tea House <laughs>